Hi there. If you are working on growing your text list from social media or you do in-person events where you meet new people, you are going to love this trick for automating information collection in Project Broadcast. Today, I'm going to show you how our configurable forms work. I am not going to show you all the ins and outs of setting them up but I'm going to include three amazing resources in the description below so that you can learn step-by-step -step how to set something like this up. So use your imagination, if you will, with me. I am going to pretend like I am running a booth at a bridal show and I am meeting a lot of new people. I wanna know who they are and if they're interested in working with me as let's say a wedding planner. So if they are, they are going to text the word bride to me to trigger the sending of a configurable form in Project Broadcast. So I just sent the word bride to this number from my phone so you could see this working. It may take a second. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh. And as you can see, there is a message from a new contact here and it says bride. They got an auto reply that said, you know, thank you for your interest in my giveaway. Click the link below to let me know a little bit about your wedding and you'll be entered to win. When they click on this link on their phone, they're going to see our configurable form. I have chosen what questions I want to ask them so that I can learn a little bit more about them and a little bit more about working with them. So they'll fill out this form and let's just say a uh, wedding date. I'm just gonna pick something here, wedding colors and how many people in the wedding party. And then they're going to submit this answer. And when they do, I'm gonna come back here to Project Broadcast. When I refresh, You'll see that support has let me know that somebody has filled out my form, which is great. But you'll also see that this person has a name now, which is great, right? We know who we're talking to when we get back to Project Broadcast and we're doing our follow up later on today or tomorrow after the bridal show. You'll also see that something really cool happened here. Another keyword was reply or applied, not replied when they filled out the form, which sends them another auto reply. So this is a super cool thing to set up. Again, I'll share the directions or the link to the directions in the description below. Just kind of wanted to show you how it worked. The other thing you might want to know is where does that information go that they shared on their form, right? So if you click on this person's name, you'll see that they have first name, last name, of course, which they gave you, but their answers are here in custom fields. So you'll see March 27th, gray and yellow five. And if you don't remember what questions you asked, you can click on this little edit pencil and you'll see their wedding date is March 27th. Wedding colors are gray and yellow and they have five people in their wedding party. And that is all it takes to automate information collection in Project Broadcast. You use a combination of keywords and configurable forms and you are good Good to go. Project Broadcast does the heavy lifting for you. I hope this tip helps. Thanks for learning with me.